how do you kind of make sure that those like older guys who kind of can't come off the field as much because they're more essential like Marvell don't get too fatigued, especially since you have like this bye week to rest them? Um, We've we've rested them. Um, obviously, Cam is another guy that uh, him and Marvell are the two two guys that run the defense, um, and you know they they just taking care of their bodies and, and really you know really helping coach the young guys. Um, what have you kind of done to sort of give the younger guys more reps and stuff this week in order to kind of build that depth? Well, um, we we. Well, Yesterday and today, I let them run the meetings, the young guys. So I had them actually teach the older guys what they saw on tape and uh -oh. kind of made them made the corrections for them to see if they were correct or not. So uh, we kind of change it up and, and try to keep it uh, as, as uh, new as possible to kind of to keep the guys you know focused at all times. So that was probably one of the biggest changes we made this week. They do. They good. Good. I was I was actually impressed. So. I, I got to sit back and listen. <laughs> Anyone you take were particularly <laughs> Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> Anyone you were particularly impressed with? Uh, Kanai did a really good job. OG um, did a really nice job. Chase Williams, CJ Pollard, um, uh, Hunter Eccles, they all they all did a really good job um, uh, from a defensive line standpoint. Um, you know, Marlon. Marlon did a really good job. He's, he's, he's a really sharp kid. If Porter were limited at all next week, who do you like behind him right now? Yeah, I mean, it's something we got to continue to take a look at when you, you know, you got uh, body types like Rector, you got body types like Hunter Eccles. Um, it gives you some flexibility. And then, and then um, you know, Jake Lichtenstein is the guy that his reps that he's been in the game has demonstrated that he's a guy that can, that can play um, as being a redshirt freshman. So, I think the a combination of those body types would be probably where we would look. What have you seen from Hunter Eccles' development? Um, I just seen mostly his 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 body filling out. Um, he's he's stouter against tackles in the running game. He can set the edge a little bit better. Uh, I think his his biggest strength is his pass rush and his ability to bend. And uh, I think you know as the season moves forward, you'll see him out there more. Uh, in, in pass rush type situations because I think he's got a really good feel for that. How have you felt about the progress of both uh, EA and Chalanella? Well, I think uh, EA has made a lot of progress. His, his reps haven't showed up as much, obviously, in, in the games just because, uh, you know, Cam has taken most of those reps and that's that's just the way it's going to be. But uh, his, his ability to come out here and execute the defense when we ask him to do with limited uh, reps has been very impressive. And Talano, the more he plays, uh, the better he's going to be. Um, I think you guys saw that in the Arizona game. And, and uh, you know, I've seen his development from spring to, to fall camp to now. And, you know, his arrow is always pointing up. And I think his, his ability to communicate, um, he's got really good closing speed. And I mentioned earlier, um, you know, him and Marvell working together, I think is going to ben benefit all of us uh, moving forward. So they have a good rapport together and looking forward to seeing that uh, continue to grow. Speaking of Cam, he says he feels like he's <clears throat> making plays he didn't make previously because of the shape he's in. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you kind of just quantify the value he's had to the defensive shape? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think him coming back has been great for, for us and for him. Uh, he's lost weight. You know, it's something I talked to him about in the last year or so, and he's improved his flexibility. So you can see him making more plays uh, not only in the tackle box, but out out, in the, out to the numbers. So he's demonstrated that he can be a pure three down linebacker at the next level. Um, so he's playing much better at the line of scrimmage with his hands getting on and off blocks. And he's playing much better uh, feeling coverage around him and having a good feel in zones. Can you talk a little about John Gibson? Yeah, John's, um, you know, very quietly had a good year for us. He's very consistent, very solid. Um, obviously, uh, you know, he got hurt in the last play of the first half last week. Um, but, you know, John's a consummate pro. He's very smart. He's one of those kids that you tell him something once and he gets it. Um, and he's been in this defense now. He listened for a year, and then now he's in his second year as a full-time starter. So I really like where he's at as a player for us. What, what about his talents? Well, I think he, you know, uh, he's an instinctive guy. 
and he plays into the boundary for us mostly as a dime linebacker. So I really like his length in the passing game. He's got the ability to run with receivers uh, to a certain extent. Um, so it, it allows us to keep him on the field at all times instead of having to substitute another defensive back in there. He and Levi are very similar skill set wise. We have yeah. seen Levi in a limited role and in a bigger role this past week of injury. Mm -hmm. How have you felt about him? Uh, he's done everything we've asked him to do. Um, you know, he's playing behind a guy that's a full time second year starter that's got a bright future uh, here at USC and at the next level. So his playing time, I think he's. All but the Stanford game, he's played 15, at least 15 snaps to 25 snaps on defense, plus about 15 to 20 snaps on special teams. So um, his role behind John is if John needs a blow, then he's going to play. Um, and he knows that, and we've talked about that. And, but I'm really proud of the way he went in and played the other day. I think he's got a lot of space athleticism. Uh, he's got very good instincts, and, and um, you know he, he will play more as the season goes on. Thank you.